Hey, it's Willie back, and all right, the new Unify Video G3 cameras. I haven't taken them out of the box yet, so we're gonna do that after we take them out of the box and we look at them a little bit. Then, then the, a follow-up video. I don't like the videos to be too long, uh, so I'll split it into two videos. This one will open the device and we'll take a look at it, and then. Uh, after that, we'll hook it up to an NVR, and one of these is going to an NVR, and one of these is going to be used to shoot traveling live streams. So, uh, we'll go ahead and open this one. Same familiar Ubiquity packaging. This is the first time I have had my hands on one of these, so got your quick start guide. Let's see if there's anything different about this. Oh, this camera is is a little different than the G2, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I don't have an extra G2 to show you a size comparison, but I can tell you that the overall size of this camera is smaller than just the body of the G2 or or about the same size but let's take everything out of the package and I'm doing this backwards so if it looks a little clunky it's because it might be a little clunky I'm doing this doing this backwards okay so let's start off with what we know Power cable, standard Mickey out, Mickey Mouse uh, ear plug-in, the uh, PoE injector, and is this gigabit? This one is this is not gigabit, but you can see it's the one that comes with the uh, the mounting plate for the back. I love this. Whoever came up with this, this fantastic idea. This is a little bit different. On the G2, uh, the end of the, the mount, or the end of the camera as it came out of the box, actually had the rounded spot so you could put uh, mount it on a pipe. And this, according to the quick start guide, is our, is our pipe mount. So according to the picture, these two prongs that stick out, Goes goes against the pipe, and then you put your your pipe clamp on there. You know what? And this did not yeah, this did not come with a pipe clamp either. What's up with that? Oh, heard that something that is metal there. Not sure what it was. Must be this outer ring. All right. So then we've got a cable gland, which is what this guy is. And then we have two self-tapping screws and anchors, and then two machine screws. And what are the machine screws for? Uh, let's see. Machine screws, machine screws. Aha! So the machine screws, here we'll go ahead, let's take Let's take this apart, this base. So, we've got a couple different pieces here. Let's see, do I need to take anything else apart? Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure if this this guy comes apart or not. I just got this, literally. Just got this, so I don't want to twist and turn on it too much. Break it on camera, that'd be fantastic. Uh, if you can see in there, let's see if I can get a better view. Well, trying to get some light in there. Anyway, there's a the Ethernet. And the reset button. 
are inside the the back there. Let me see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So it does look like this comes apart. It says remove the camera from the adjustable base by turning the camera lock counter clockwise. Okay. Well, we're getting somewhere. Alright, so here here's the actual unit itself. And by the way, you can get uh, extended IRs that go on the front of this. I don't have that, but I, I should probably go ahead and buy some of those. So we've got the back of the, the camera, Ethernet, reset and this yeah this appears to be appears to be metal so let's see does this hood come out at all I don't know if it does so that's that's the camera body itself and then this is the adjustable base that we just took off uh, I I have to applaud this this design with all the uh, a big locking nuts, um, the the ball joints and things like that that they've got, especially like on the the M5s. And then this is our mounting base, which would actually mount to our our pipe clamp. And you can see there's a spot for the cable to come in. And so then you would screw this together, just like this. And then, how's, what goes next? Then if you've got a cable fed through there, then your cable gland would go there. This uh, probably keeps a uh, nice weatherproof uh, connection. And then we've got the, of course, this adjustable ball mount. I don't know if you can see that or not. So you would feed your cable up and back through here. You know what, let me see if I've got a cable. All right, so if you can kind of picture this, uh, your cable's gonna come through here. So you can see how the, the cutout, the cable goes there. I'm not gonna put the, the cable gland on. I don't know if I'll be able to get this through here or not. Oh, it does. It fits. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll screw this guy together. Careful not to cross thread anything. That is uh, plastic going onto metal, so if you're not careful, you could find yourself cross threading very easily. And that's what I want to avoid. Yeah, if you wrench too hard on that too, you could probably crack it kind of easy. So your cable is going to come in like that and plug into the back of the camera. Let's see, so this, this looks like it's keyed, so that it'll only fit one way there. I am really impressed with the size of this camera for a 1080 camera. Um, some other people may not be, but, um, you know, people got to be upset about something all the time. And then, of course, we've got, you know, this, this, uh, is adjustable so depending on how you want how you want the uh, camera mounted you could turn it so it's got an angle you could work all the angles so let me see if I can find something to compare this in size to okay so here's the, uh, the the power injector so if I hold the power injector up to the camera itself you can see the power injector is longer than the camera body. Let me see if I've got anything else. Okay, 
So I found three things you might be familiar with. The first came out of my lab. It's an Edge Router X. So here's the G3 compared to the Edge Router X. Here is the standard pipe clamp that comes with the M5. It actually also came with the UVC G2. It's a 25 to 64 millimeter. That's what's stamped on the side there anyway. So you can see holding that, that pipe clamp up to this. And then the last thing that I've got is a Raspberry Pi. If you're familiar with that, you can see it's smaller than the than the edge router. So the Raspberry Pi is smaller than the edge router. And the G3 is you know the it's the camera itself is still not as long as is that I, I wish I had a baseball or uh, some sort of a ball. Okay, so my dog, my dog has a tennis ball. Don't mind the, uh, don't mind that. It gets a little rough. So this is a standard size tennis ball, and I'm going to hold it up to the, the G3. So you can see that that G3 is <laughs> is pretty. It's almost just the size of a of a tennis ball. And if you ever saw the the G2 Micro, you know that thing was they said is as big as a golf ball. It was it was as big as a golf ball. So this is not standard PoE. This is going to be <coughs> excuse me. This is going to be um, uh, the uh, passive PoE, the 24 volt. Is there anything else you need to know? Of course, if you're putting it outside, ground it. Um, other than that, oh, to adjust to adjust the view. Oh, yeah, we were uh, yeah we were messing with the uh, the adjustments. Other than that. I think this is a good unboxing and, and looking at the camera. So please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And in the next video that I do on this, we will be uh, adopting it into my Unify NVR. And we'll do some recording. And then this other guy is going to get standalone firmware so we can do live streams to the Internet. And so we'll talk about that in the next video. Once again, please give a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.